First at six, speak your mind or stick to the prayer. That's the new question facing the Jacksonville City Council, which will consider limiting what church leaders can and can't say during opening prayers. Good evening, I'm Anthony Austin. And I'm Jeannie Blaylock. This all comes after a contentious exchange at City Hall. Baptism is being exercised Mr. Gandhi, in the back you, rooms. I'm gonna ask you to have in the name of Jesus. Prayer. This is live from outside City Hall with the latest on this, Eric. That's right, I'm here outside City Hall where Council President Aaron Bowman filed this legislation that would limit the language in those opening prayers. He has yet to answer my very specific question exactly what led him to do that, but we do know right now that City Hall is also the place where that unusual exchange happened about two months ago. All right, good evening. The March 12th City Council meeting starts off just like any other. May we pray. With an invocation from a local church leader. In it, Reverend R.L. Gundy of Mount Sinai Baptist Church is critical of Mayor Lenny Curry. People are being intimidated, threatened and bullied by the executive branch. It happened during a contentious mayoral race that saw ads supporting Curry's re-election campaign attacking challenger and council member Anna Brochet. Anna Brochet is lying and playing politics with life and death. Gundy, who was introduced by Brochet, sees his invocation interrupted. Nepotism is being exercised Gundy, in the back you, rooms. I'm going to ask you to have in the name of Jesus. Prayer. And ultimately, they see domestic terrorism. The camera jerks and Gundy's mic appears to be cut off, but he continues his opening prayer four minutes and 55 seconds. Now, two months later, this man, Council President Aaron Bowman, introduced a bill which says... The invocation shall be free from personal political views or partisan politics. It would also limit opening prayers to two minutes. <laughs> Council members are free to invite religious leaders of any faith. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. But Bowman's bill also says the invocation must not be exploited to convert others to a particular faith, to advance any particular faith, or to disparage any faith or belief. I reached out to both Bowman and Gundy for comment this morning. At this hour, they have yet to respond. Live at City Hall, Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.